What's happening, YouTube? Mass Villain Gaming back here. I'm just making this quick little video for one of my subscribers, Scott Malkinson, who uh, asked me how to download other people's game saves and then put them into his game of Borderlands 2. So, what you're going to need to do this, first of all, is a game save file. So, I got my buddy Killer6 here, and he has a bunch of game save files on his YouTube page. Make sure you go check him out. Big ups to Killer6. And here is his file for his OP8 Siren game save. So, all you're going to want to do is click on the link, download his file, and you're going to want to save file. And then once it's downloaded, you're going to want to go to where it's downloaded, open your file, and you're going to want to name it something like save zero and then a number. It has to be four numbers. It could be like, I have like 30 something different saves. So I go zero, zero, let's go three, four. Zero, zero, three, four. Save zero, zero, three, four. Okay, perfect. So now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to find where your game saves are kept. You're going to want to keep this window open. So, to find where your game saves are, you're going to want to go into your user files. Now, of course, my user files are named Mass Villain because that is the name of my, uh, my computer. It's Mass Villain's computer. So you go into it, and then you're going to want to go into My Documents. And then you're going to go want to go to My Games. And then Borderlands 2. And then Willow Game. And then Save Data. And then there should be a folder in your save data with a whole bunch of numbers. You open that, and bam! This is where all your save files are. So, now all you're going to want to do is grab this save file that you downloaded and just drop it in. Bam! 34. So now that that's in the folder, you can just close these down. And let's go into Borderlands and see the new character that I just downloaded. Now it should be in there, I should have no problems, I should be able to load it right up. And off we go. So we'll just give this a minute to load up. I know a lot of people have been asking me questions of how to do this or like, you know, they don't want, they've been playing the game but they want to try a different character but don't want to go through and do all the leveling and stuff. So this is a rather easy way to do that. If you just want to, like I like, I've never played as the Gunzerker before. And uh, I saw a lot of my friends using him for farming and things, so I downloaded an OP8 Gunzerker save from Killer6. And I'm very, very happy that I did because it is OP. It just b destroys everything. It's just ridiculous. So, here we go. We got into the game. And now we go to select characters. And there it is, Kitten. This is Killer6's Siren. Bam! Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, you can go to continue and OP8 level 8. Open it up. Sometimes it'll say things like that. And then that's it. You have an OP level 8 character. Full of gear. All specced out the way you, you should need them to. You got lots of gear that they come with. Yeah, so that's how you do it. So if you like this video and if it was helpful, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Throw a thumbs up down below, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, this is just a quick little tutorial on how to download and put into the game other people's game save files. So this is on PC, this is on Windows 7. I'm not sure if things are different on Windows 8, therefore I do not have Windows 8. But uh, if it's any different, don't forget to uh, comment down below, let me know if there's anything I missed or uh, if you have any questions on how to do this. And like I said, rate, comment, and subscribe, throw a thumbs up down below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.